that with our ingenuity, creativity, and innovative spirit, there are no limits to what is possible in America. Lita Black and I'm here with Ann Lewis. We're representing No Limits at the luncheon for the National Coalition of Women and Families. Decision makers, problem solvers, and leaders. Sports champions. Entertainers. And agents of change who continuously shape our families, communities, nations, and our world. Because Elena Kagan is more than qualified for this post. It's past time that we have a third woman serving as a justice on our highest court. The National Partnership for Women and Families was there in the trenches as we fought for health care reform, and we'll be there in the trenches again fighting to confirm Elena Hagan. This moment, so much bigger than me. Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, but she did it backwards in high heels. <laughs> well, today, America's women are being asked to do so much of our nation's work in our homes, our workplaces, and in the corridors of power, but saddled with policies that are as outdated as an MGM musical. Powerful leaders who shape our policies. for women and families is making sure that our laws, programs, and policies change as well. Today, women hold jobs when we are young and single, when we are mothers, and when we are grandmothers. And we have the right to expect our society to be free from discrimination and our workplaces to recognize the challenges associated with being both a working mother and a working daughter. And now I'd like to, after a year of historic debate, after a historic vote, health care reform is no longer an unmet promise. It is the law of the land. Years from now, when the
when the story of the passage of health care reform is told by the historians of tomorrow, it will be a tale of heroes and heroines who triumphed against great odds and powerful forces of opposition. And one of those at the center of that tale will be today's keynote speaker. As Kansas Insurance Commissioner, Kathleen Sebelius stood up against practices that violated the trust of policyholders. As governor, she stood up to radicals who were seeking to end women's right to make decisions about their own reproductive health. And as Secretary of Health and Human Services, she played a pivotal role in passing health care reform. She was there leading every step of the way. All I know is this, when it comes to health care reform, Kathleen Sebelius is in charge of the details. And we are all lucky that she is. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the most influential Secretary of Health and Human Services in American history, Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. I'm now the fourth woman to lead the Department of Health and Human Services, and I tell you, it is a great place to be at this particular point in time. So I don't have to look too far to see the evidence of the gains that you've helped all women to make over the last few decades. Our top official in charge of planning and responding to public health emergencies and attacks is a woman. The acting administrator, of the world's largest insurance company, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, is a woman. And altogether, our 11 agencies in our department, eight of them are led by women. From the Food and Drug Administration, yes, that's a positive. One of the things that the Affordable Care Act does is bring some fairness into the health insurance market so women have better health choices. It makes it illegal, once and for all, to charge women extra for health insurance. That practice is coming to an end. I'd be pleased to know that being a woman is no longer a pre-existing condition. <laughs> With the Affordable Care Act, we're putting women back in control of their health decisions. And basically, it says if you hold up your part of the deal, your insurance company will hold up their end also, and we'll make sure that people actually get what they pay for. And while the law is deliberately structured so that reforms would phase in gradually without disrupting people's existing care, we already see a better future emerging here just 90 days after the law was passed. Across the country, there are daughters who might have been going without insurance and just taking their chances. Now, thanks to the Affordable Care Act, they can stay on their parents' coverage until they turn 26, which is a big relief in a lot of families. Don't move back into my house, but take my insurance. <laughs> in the months to come, I look forward to continuing our partnership to build a better health care system where women and all Americans get the security, flexibility, and high quality health care they deserve. Thank you for your great work. Thank you for this wonderful honor. Thank you. My name is Liz Wing. I'm executive director of No Limits Foundation. We just walked out of this fantastic event. We got to hear from Ellen Malcolm, the chair of Emily's List. We heard from Deborah Ness, the president of the Partnership for Women and Families. And we also heard from HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. Watch for more information on nolimits.org and make sure you check us out on Twitter and Facebook.